All right, moment of truth. We're opening the anchovies. Here we go. Hi, my name is Jess and I live in Sonoma County, California, and I am currently cooking my way around the world 500 miles at a time. We are currently in Trapani, Sicily. We've made it to Sicily. To be clear, I'm not really in Sicily. So if you're looking for a video about Sicily, I have created a playlist on the channel. You can go and watch those videos if you're looking for real Sicily travel videos. I am stuck here in California, not a bad place to be, but it's COVID, it's a lockdown, and I'm kind of dreaming about what it would be like to travel to other places since I know I can't. You know how it is when you know you can't do something and suddenly that's the only thing you wanna do? That's me. So here we are, we're in Trapani, Sicily, and we have got a lot to do. If I were actually gonna to go to Sicily, the first thing I would do is absolutely go and see the sites. So for me, that would be the Temple of Segesta, which is a Doric temple about 30 minutes outside the city of Trapani. It looks awesome. So what makes a Doric temple? Well, I am so glad you asked. Doric temples were the first temples to be made out of stone, and they feature smooth columns with a round, simple circle at the top. There's a lot you can learn about Doric temples, but this is not a video about architecture. This is a video about someone pretending to be in Sicily. So this week we are on the hunt for ruins. Doric architecture, and we're gonna do some cooking. We're gonna make a sweet treat called a Sicilian sesame seed lozenge. And of course, this being Sicily, we cannot avoid cooking with anchovies. Anchovies are not my favorite food, but we're in Sicily. Anchovies are a big part of Sicilian cooking, so there will definitely be anchovies are gonna happen this week. Also, if we're lucky, we might get some pizza. Let's get going. First stop is we're gonna go hit the Sutro Baths in San Francisco because it's the closest thing that I can find to a ruin uh, in the San Francisco Bay Area. So first stop, Sutro Baths. Let's go. Hey. General impression so far? It's all destroyed. It's a ruin. They never fix it. It's kind of cool actually. I thought it was pretty fun. Yeah. If really you dig, time. you can find like old pieces of, uh, you know, teacups and stuff. That was fun. It was fun. It felt like going to ruins. I didn't feel like I was in Italy. What's our next destination now? We're gonna go, go we're gonna downtown and find some Doric columns. Yeah, let's do that. So we're not at the Temple of Segesta, but guess what? Doric Columns. All right. Okay, so we found Doric Columns, we found some ruins. We were talking and we were saying if we were really in Sicily, oh, police sirens. I hope so, Fosh. No. We're gonna get pizza. Yeah, we're gonna go get pizza. 
So, we saw we saw ruins, we saw columns, and we were saying, uh, that's enough columns for one day, let's go get pizza. If we were really in Sicily, we would say that's enough columns for one day, let's go get pizza. So, pizza? Yeah, pizza. Pizza. All right. All right. Pizza? <laughs> pizza sounds great. Let's go get pizza. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, look, more Doric columns. Again. Can't get enough of them. Sicilian pizza? Yeah. Uh, I thought the Sicilian was uh, square. I thought the Sicilian was square too. So yeah, no, it's not a Sicilian. It's not a Sicilian. As usual. Oh. But honestly, what's the difference between, the, what's the taste difference between a square one and a round one? I have no idea. I've never been to Sicily. Well, it's not much. Isn't it like a different crust? Oh, maybe. I said Sicilian when, I mean, I asked for anchovies. Because I love anchovies. Are there only anchovies on one side, right? There's only anchovies on one side. You love pizza, I know you do. Alright, so anchovy. Okay, I'm taking this. The side, the, the crust is. Mm. Mm. But that's okay, I think it's, it's just. a little rubbery. That's an American pizza. It's an American pizza. I mean, it, like, it's good, but it's just... It's not even square! No. Oh well. Can't trust anyone. Pizza's pizza. Italian pizza is an Italian pizza. An American mm. pizza is an American pizza. It's nice to have pizza, but... Well, do you think they put, like, a little bit of yeast in their dough to make it fluffy like that? Or? I don't know, it's not very good. It's overcooked. What's up? So we're making Sicilian sesame seed lozenges today. No idea what it's going to taste like. We've got honey, sugar, sesame seeds, almonds, and we're supposed to have pistachios, but we don't have pistachios, so we're using hazelnuts. I'm not sure if that makes it inauthentic, probably, but... <laughs> It looks like the sugar and the honey have combined together. It looks beautiful. Okay, we've got one cup of sesame seeds. It looks good so far. I think it'll be good. Yeah, it smells good. Is it gonna get really hard, do you think, or is it just honey? I don't know, I've, I know that when you... I have a feeling it gets pretty hard, because it's just sugar and honey. Oh, you did put sugar in it. It's it's a half half sugar and honey. Yeah, it'd be maybe. Uh, yeah. It might be a little chewy, but I semi hard. Yeah, but it'll be good. Yeah. We've got our toasted almonds and toasted hazelnuts, ground up into, ah, not very fine, but like well chopped, and we're gonna stick this into our bubbling bubble of goo. It smells pretty good. It smells amazing. Yeah, I think it smells like there's nothing not to like about it. Yeah. I think it's gonna be... It smells like uh, the thing that the dentist would say, don't... Yeah, it smells like something the dentist would tell you not to eat. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I think I might have burned it a little bit. It's really hot. It's really hot. 
Do not touch it. <laughs> Do not touch it. Okay. Well, man. Do not stick your finger. No, no. This is a caramel. You burn it. It's fine. <laughs> I know, but it's. It's not fine. Your it's fine. Hopefully it's cooled down a little bit. I don't know how you know if it's cool enough without sticking your finger in it and burning your finger, but. All right, it looks like a big old mess to me. Crazy hot still, like molten lava. All right, so we're rolling it out with a rolling pin. This is why people have camera crews, because it's a lot to do to make boiling hot lava and run an entire television production. I think it's working, is the good news. I think we're making progress. It looks pretty good, actually. It looks kind of exciting and fun. It looks like pretty fun. Here we go, I'm gonna try Oh, that was good. It looks pretty good, actually. All right, so now we're gonna take our lemon and we're gonna wash it up and down on the slab. Okay, and then our last step is to cut it. Let's see if the pizza wheel will work. Uh-oh. I think I might have let it get too cool now to cut it. This looks like a good way to cut yourself. Is it gonna get really out, do you think? Or is it just honey? That's pretty hard because it's just sugar and honey. Holy crap. Yeah, it'd be maybe uh yeah. it might be a little chewy, but semi hard. Yeah. <laughs> nope, that's not working. Okay. Hey Sammy, you want to try it? Oh, that is that reminds me of uh, you know Patrick the baker. Mm -hmm. You know stuff like that. But I think he was using peanuts. Yeah, it's like peanut brittle, basically. Yeah, okay, I tried definitely a piece. Okay, watch your teeth. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, it's not, it's not soft. It's not semi hard either. It's no, it's hard. Mm hmm. Mm. You put lemon in it? On the top of it. Oh. That's okay. Good. It's squirrel nuts. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. I used to buy tons of those when I was a kid. They're good for you, I think. Mm hmm. I mean, probably the same as eating candy. Okay, so, here we are. Do you like my apron? My mom made this apron for me. From the, It's from the Planet of the Aprons. So, we're in Sicily and we're making cauliflower all in the pot, also known as broccolo a tutto al dentro, or something similar to that. It's gonna have cauliflower, red wine, olives, and anchovies and cheese. And I'm a little nervous about the anchovies because normally it's not my preferred thing, but it's a Sicilian dish and we're in Sicily and when you're traveling, you eat weird food that you wouldn't normally eat. So maybe we're gonna find out we really like anchovies today. Who knows, we'll see.
right, moment of truth. We're opening the anchovies. Here we go. <laughs> I gotta hate anchovies so much. Alright, they're like little snakes in oil. Okay. We need to drain them and then we need to cut them up into little tiny pieces. OMG. Okay, that's a phone okay. It doesn't smell as bad as I thought it would. I thought it was gonna reek of like, well, anchovy, but it smells okay. It doesn't smell like anything actually, which is good. But it's still, there's just something about it. Oh, there's the smell. Now I can smell it. Oof. Okay. Up a red one for the Sicilians. This is the strangest little, strangest mix of a dish I've ever made. Food. That's what we're eating tonight. That looks good. Yeah, I think it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Did you try it? Yeah. How is it? It's good. It's it's uh, it tastes like the salt of the anchovy. It's good. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like it's really seafoody. Yeah. Even though it's just made with uh, canned anchovies. Yeah, no, it's not bad. I'm not sure if I would put it on my list of like top favorite foods. I'm not sure if I would ever make it again. But it's an interesting flavor combination. It's good. It's uh, yeah, I like it a lot. I could see. I mean, if if I think it will have more flavor if it just gets a little bit of cream fresh, like some some sour cream, because you get a good juice. But you're in Sicily, and they don't do it that way. It's okay, I can handle the anchovies. It's not my favorite flavor. This is, this is good. This is, uh, yeah. you know, something you would get in a, like, you know, little, little Italian pier, like little tiny village, and like, what for dinner? Yeah. I will get those pasta and cauliflower and olives and I'll show you, like, oh, okay. okay. Does it come with wine? Yes, all right. I yeah. Yeah, I feel like. Try that. You're in Sicily, you walk into some like ran you're in a little tiny village, you walk into like the random restaurant that they have and then yeah. this, this is what they're serving. And I think this this could be good with like a little goat cheese after like, a mm -hmm. salad. Yeah. We did it! We did Sicily! Final thoughts on Sicily. Sutro baths. Awesome. If you're in San Francisco, absolutely go to Sutro Baths. It's a hoot. It's just so, super fun. Sicilian sesame seed lozenges. What a uh, what a journey that was. I would say um, absolutely make them. They're pretty cheap to make. And also um, don't stick your finger in it. You're gonna burn it and watch out. It gets pretty hard. Uh, let's see. Pizza. Pizza, I don't know, man. Pizza, pizza was kind of a flop. Um, we called the restaurant and asked them if it, and to confirm if it really was a Sicilian pizza, and they said it was. So maybe I'm wrong that Sicilian pizzas need to be square. If you're from Sicily, can you please comment on this video and let me know, are your pizzas really square or is that just an American thing? 
Um, super, super curious. I've always heard Sicilian pizzas are square, but I don't know. Um, for sure, I bet your pizzas are better than that pizza though. Cauliflower, the cauliflower and anchovy pasta. It was weird and I kind of liked it. I was surprised. I really, I really hate anchovies. Like my entire life I have avoided anchovies. And I have to say it was like a meal that like the first bite, I really wasn't so sure. But then after we finished eating it, at like 30 minutes later, I was like, oh, that was pretty good. And I kind of wanted some more. So I would say if you have a food that you fear, Get out of your comfort zone, try it. Maybe you'll find out that you like it. I'm not I'm not gonna be rushing to cook with anchovies again soon, but I don't think I'll be avoiding them the way I have my entire life. I would say um, I'm now open to anchovies. So if we've accomplished anything with this video, it's that now maybe I'll eat an anchovy. And also, man, that cauliflower dish, it was a weird little mix of flavors, but it was actually really, really good. And it was super cheap to make. Like it was like the main thing was cauliflower. Um, and then the last thing is I know I put ricotta in the shot of the ingredients, but no, there was no ricotta in it. it I, I don't know why the ricotta was there. Sorry. So that wraps up our time in Trapani and our next stop is 500 miles to the east in Kefalonia, Greece. So do you live in Kefalonia? Are you from Greece? Have you been to Kefalonia? If you have any recommendations for uh, things to try, foods to cook, places that you should visit, or general vibes about it, let me know and I am going to do my best to visit Kefalonia from the comfort of my backyard here in California. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and um, see you guys next time. Bye!